Premiere Pro version 25.0 is here and we have some major updates to the interface that I'm excited to share with you so let's jump right into it. So here we are inside Premiere Pro and there have been some improvements on both the design but also the functionality and user experience. And I'm going to show you the design updates first just because this is the most obvious updates and because I love good graphic design. And the first thing I want to show you is how much easier it is to create a new project. So once you open up Premiere Pro, you can click new project and you get this new little pop-up window. So you just have to do some selections and then start your new project. So you don't have to go through and select all the footage that you want to import first. You can create your project first and then import it, which I think is way easier. And now once you have that created inside the project window, you have have an import button so instead of clicking command i or going up to the menu and importing footage you can just click the import button and then select whatever footage you want to import and overall i just think the new interface looks more modern it's a more consistent look if you look at the icons once you select them they all kind of get this gray background with rounded corners previously they look different some icons turned blue some had a gray background some had rounded corners some didn't and now it's just more consistent throughout the whole program and you can also see that you have rounded corners inside the timeline so the source patching for example and the color theme is also updated so the label colors looks different than previously and if you go up to the menu to Premiere Pro settings appearance you can see that you can switch between dark and darkest but also light so you have three different color settings that you can switch between and you also have the option to increase the contrast with a simple switch so if you look at the icons and the lines they change the color so the contrast becomes more clear and more strong but except these design updates there are also some interesting updates on the tools and functionality inside Premiere Pro but before I show you that if you like this video so far don't forget to subscribe for more Premiere Pro tips but for example you now have a crop option inside the motion property so you don't have to manually add a crop effect from the effects window you have that inside the motion property already and you also have a new window called properties and inside that properties window you can change the properties for both the graphics but also videos and they have added some extra settings there that you don't have to go and search for manually and they've also renamed the essential graphics window to graphics templates so the graphics you had all of that in the essential graphics window before now you only have the templates there and then all the properties you want to change on the graphics you do in the properties window together with the properties for the videos. So I think that this change makes more sense than what it did before that you actually separate these two windows. And this leads me to my next point that I think is really good. If you go to the properties window, if you have selected a video and you scroll down, you have the regular settings that you can change, but you also have the crop option there you have the volume slider and you have speed adjustments so instead of when you want to crop you usually go to the effects window add the effect crop when you want to change the volume you select the video and click g um, and if you want to change the speed you select the video and click command r but now you have all of that in the properties window which is very handy i think and as you can see you can also add keyframes inside this window so you can click on a keyframe next to a property and then you can play and then you can adjust the numbers and then it automatically creates a new keyframe but you can also go ahead and adjust this in the effect controls window as you did before so i think if you are new to premiere pro this is great because you have a lot of commonly used functions and properties inside the same window and another thing that is really good with this new properties window is that if you go up to the top right you have three dots there um, so if you click there you can get some assistance for different things that you want to do with your footage. So here you can see that they give you options to change the audio or to change the colors or if you want to change something else. And whenever you click one of those options they send you to that window specifically to show you where you can do that. So instead of having to know exactly what window to go to 
you just need to know what you want to do with the footage and then they send you to that window so i think that's very handy that you get that kind of assistance within premiere pro and finally we have a brand new tool called direct manipulation so you can find that in the program window in the bottom left and if you click the little arrow there you can see that you can switch between transform and crop so inside the program window you can now zoom in or zoom out footage by just dragging the edge of the footage and you can also crop the footage without having to manually add a crop effect and changing the numbers you can just switch to the crop tool drag any of the sides and then drag it in and a little tip if you for example want to have a video on the top half and a video on the bottom half you can add a rectangle and then you can drag it to the middle so it kind of snaps to the middle so then you know that the top of the rectangle ends where the middle line goes and then after you've done that you can kind of use that as a guidance so you can crop your video footage so it ends at that same line and then you know you have covered exactly half of the video and then you can do the same thing with the bottom video and I've done over 150 short tutorials on Premiere Pro so if you like this check out the playlist that I will link at the end of this video and download my 12 free motion graphic templates that you can find in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.